Hey guys, this is the Imaginator here today to bring you my very first chapter in a long time, Naruto Mana Chapter 676. And this will be entitled Infinite Tsubiyomi. Well, I will title it Infinite Tsubiyomi, but I forgot what the chapter itself was actually called. Oh yeah, I think I remember. Infinite Dream. There we go. Entitled Infinite Dream. So, like, first, I'm just going to explain, you know, tell you guys about the chapter, then give my overall thoughts. So, first, we have pretty much Madara coming out of the dimension, and we have now Black Zetsu, who's pretty much now um, took over Obito's body. Alright. And we get to see, you know, like Sakura, I know Sakura too in the panel, that she was a little bit frightened and like crazy. And um, we also get to where Madara, uh, they're, they're pretty much stunned by this, by Madara's new power. And as Sakura immediately gets like this image in her head where Sasuke and Naruto are ahead of her. Like it represents pretty much the power difference between Sakura and Naruto Sasuke. You know how she feels, her perspective. Then she immediately activates the, I think it's called the Thousand, the 100 uh, Strength of Thousand Seal. I think that's what it's called. And she charges right at the Madara, like recklessly, without a second thought. And to me, I was kind of surprised because usually Sakura is more of a collective kind of person who will just think before doing. But she went right inside, right towards Madara, tried to punch him. But apparently, Madara, you know, he says it's like Hashirama's, grand, Hashirama's granddaughter's like technique, as we already know he was referred to Tsunade. Sakura is kind of confused, like, how come I can't hit him? Like, because it felt like there was like a barrier there. But there, but we find a little, little bit later on in the chat that there wasn't. Naruto Sasuke save her. And then Sasuke tells, yo, Naruto, yo, we got all these clones here. We, well, Madara has all these clones. And Naruto's like, yeah, yeah, I know. And pretty much after that, the battle intensifies even more. Where we have Madara using the Chibaku Tensei, which is the same technique that Nagato used when he was controlling the pain puppet, basically. Basically, Sephir is on a higher level. Well, way, way higher level. Way, way more hands on a dangerous um, scale. Or I should say, on a higher scale. Then, you know, Sakura is, is like shocked, you know, seeing how. Air, this battle is taking place. Well, how pretty much how this battle is going? And Naruto uses his tail beast bomber, I sing, I should, first thing Shuriken, and Sasuke uses his Susano. But Sus Sasuke Susano has pretty much evolved a little bit, as we see. Instead of a purple entity, now there's like an armor with two swords, which is which is pretty cool. Then. Madara proceeds into now finally activating the Invent Tsukuyomi. Where he also, we also see like a third eye open in the middle of his forehead. So now it's like the same eye that Kaguya, you know, the same six paths mother had in Judy. So that's pretty much the end of the chapter. So now I'll give you my overall thoughts. I thought the chapter was a, it was a great chapter indeed. Of Naruto, because again, like I love the action. I love how like Madara finally obtained his Rangan, his I right got from Obito, obviously from the from the last chapter. And I like how Sakura, like even though she didn't like prove much of a help at this at this point, but she still had the the bravery and the guts, you know, to challenge, you know, dash, yeah, go straight forward. Of a person who's a god, basically at this point. Um, also, I know people are gonna be saying too that Sakura, you know, kind of sucks, you know, because her performance what she did in this chapter. But wait, but think about this though, like Madara. Hold on, I just gotta close this little box. Oh, there we go. Yeah, like Madara, like kind of think about it. Madara is a god. Uh, type of individual right now. He has a power of a god. 
and back in his um, prime years, I should say, he was the only shinobi that was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Hashirama. And then ever since then, you know, he's evolved even more past, you know, yeah, not, well, Pat, yeah, he surpassed, or I should say transcend his prime years, and he's now tamed the Rainga. so, like, Madara is in a whole other, like, level, and so you compare that with Sakura, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of what, it's kind of what you expect, basically, what I'm saying here, like, you expect Sakura not to do much of someone of this caliber. Now, I think the reason why Sasuke and Naruto are able to push Madara a little bit further is because from a couple of chapters ago, they met Naruto and Sasuke both met Haragamo. No, it, what's his? Yeah. Hagaram, Hagaramo. If I, spell it, if I did that correctly. And, like, they gained the powers um, from him. He pretty much transferred his powers onto them. Onto them. And plus they have, uh, both Sasuke and Naruto both have the will of Ashura and Idara, who were both the Sage Six Pass children. No, both his sons. Uh, oh, excuse me. And, so yeah, as you kind, kind of think about a little bit outside the box there. And there's probably a reason why Sakura was able to do much, but if Sakura, like, if Mater didn't have, like, this, this ability going on, that he'll be able to easily, uh, I should say, yeah, she'll be able to easily, I meant to say, punch the living dead out of Madara. So, yeah, I'm still kind of disappointed, though, how she didn't think through before acting. Uh, and I also liked uh, Sasuke Susanoo improvement, which was, it was, it was really nice to see him uh, still growing. You know, even after getting this massive power up, you know, having the Ryan guy. And Naruto again inventing another one of his moves once again, the Tail Ball, no, Tail Beast Bomb, Rasengan Shuriken, which he used um, Kurama's Chakra in order to form the actual Jutsu itself, and, you know, cast it, you know, throw it. So, let's see what else I think about the chapter. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, like now that Madara's plan is finally coming to fruition, he is now um, releasing the Infinite Subiyomi, which is why this title is in, well, this chapter is entitled The Infinite Dream. So, uh, that's pretty much my thoughts. I mean, I think it was a great chapter. If, if I had to get from a uh, scale to 1 to 10, I'd probably give it this chapter an eight out of ten. I mean, a great chapter. Um, again, I know there's gonna be like a little soccer. You know, people are gonna be saying, "Right, soccer sucks," but I don't. But I actually think of it differently because you know, again, Madara, he's God. You know, God like status, and I like how she learned release the um, the thousand, the hundred thousand strength seal. I think. Whatever that, whatever that seal is called, that's you know, I use, and that she can use too. Because, and people are also wondering, like, how did she, like, got that seal? You know, how did she learn it? Well, my way of thinking about that is, like, you kind of think about, I think all you need to learn is the yin seal itself. I think once you learn that, you can automatically use um, the creation rebirth and the, um, the forbidden other jutsu that pretty much blocks out the restrictions of the three rules of being a macro ninja alright so guys give me your thoughts or comments I know that I, I haven't done a review like this in a while but again I had a lot of things to do so I never had the time to get to it so once again this is the imaginator and have a nice day everyone